Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I'm here today to do a first impressions follow-up video. Um, I had posted the first impressions that I'm going to be referencing back at like the end of September, maybe beginning of October. I'm um, trying out some ColourPop items, some Essence, and some Dose of Colors things. So um, I wanted to sit down and let you guys know what I thought of these products after I've had some time to kind of play around with them. Um, also bear with me, I just, oh my God. I put uh, bag balm on my hands and now like every little fuzzy is sticking to them. And we have a lot of fuzzies because we've got three dogs, two cats. So hair is just kind of a part of our lives. <laughs> so um, it's, it's obnoxious. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the five products that I tried in that video and I will give you guys my review. Okay, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the ColourPop Sandstone Palette. <sighs> yes, I am aware there was a ton of controversy associated with the packaging of this product, and rightfully so. It is absolutely cultural appropriation. My idiot brain did not think about that when I placed the order, right? Okay. Um, I appreciate the fact that ColourPop is repackaging. Um, I think that I think that's great. I feel like maybe they could have just they could have pulled everything and just scratched this packaging to begin with. Um, that would have been really wasteful. So I get it. Honestly, I don't I'm not in a position where I feel like me having an opinion on this matter is relevant. You know, it's it is what it is. It is it's it's not okay. And ColourPop needs to do better, okay? Um, that Those are things that we can absolutely agree on. Now, let's talk about the product inside because this palette is going to remain a part of the ColourPop collection. It will be in different packaging, which as I mentioned, I think is a great thing. So as far as the product goes, one of my criticisms is the fact that there are only four true mattes. It's these three shades down here, and this shade right here. All of the other mattes are matte with shimmer, and I feel like they've kind of kicked it up a notch as far as that formula goes. There seems to be more and more shimmer in that formula for ColourPop. Um, as far as performance with those shades go, the shimmer, I don't know, it sticks around a little bit, but it's not crazy, and it actually gives it kind of this beautiful glistening look but not metallic obviously um so i i don't hate it um i have used this several times i every look i've come up with has been absolutely beautiful so i you know i i like it um i love the depth of tone that you have here like this shade here is gorgeous it's this like purpley uh, brown. It's like a plummy brown. If I swatch this, it's going to look absolutely crazy because it's on top of bag balm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the key to getting really awesome swatches. Um, but this shade is so pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, I should have thought about this before I put bag balm on. If you're not familiar, it's just like this really goopy ointment. It's basically Vaseline, but it's not. It's. I don't think it's petroleum jelly. I feel like it's lanolin. I could... I. I don't know. Anyway, my hands are insanely dry because uh, COVID and baby and I I swear, I all I do is wash my hands. Um, anyway, so I think this shade is absolutely beautiful. In my first impressions video, I use this green. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful, like dirty, grungy sort of antique gold green shade that, and I'm personally really into this type of shade lately. So I love that. Um, the Sigma Untamed palette has a shade very similar to that, and I love that shade in that palette also. Uh, you know, the other, this other shade here, this, I could show you, should, couldn't I? This shade here, uh, it's a duochrome. It looks like it's, I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. It's kind of just a champagne shimmer with a green flip. So these two paired together, is really pretty. I like using the duochrome. It's called, it's the shade Desert Sky. I like using that as an inner corner highlight. Um, I, you know, like I said, I think this is a palette where you can go, 
really light and simple or you can go really like smoky and sultry and beautiful um not the light and simple isn't beautiful it is but <laughs> you can do a lot with it and i like that i think the formula is fantastic aside from the like the shimmer within the glitter or within the matte formula which i'm not crazy about but i don't hate it either the formula of the shimmers i feel like is is on par with their older palettes i know some of the color pop palettes lately it seems like the shimmer formula especially has been not so hot um and some of the mattes some of the mattes on the newer palettes are really dry and they don't blend i didn't experience that with this at all they they're they're very blendable they're buildable they're pigmented they're 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 good so overall i think it's a good palette i'm happy that i have it I like using it. I, I enjoy using this. You know, sometimes you pull out an eyeshadow palette and you just, you don't have a good time using it. That's not the case with this. It's, it's a good palette. It's fun to use. Beautiful looks. I recommend it. Okay, let's just stick with ColourPop. The next thing that I have, this is one of their creme gel liners in the shade Red Rock, I think. Uh, hi. I'm really happy that I'm finally joining this party. I, that's not true. I had tried, as I mentioned in the video, I had tried the ColourPop creme gel liners in the past and they were real bad. And I had tried three different shades. So it, it wasn't a shade specific issue. Um, they, they were just, they were dry. They didn't glide on. I had to just kind of like scrape at it to get it to, transfer onto my waterline. It was not a pretty sight. These though, these are incredibly pigmented and not, that's not what I was trying to say. They're, well, they are pigmented, but they're also very emollient. They're creamy. They go on effortlessly and they stay. I would say I, I'm not necessarily getting a full day's wear out of these. Um, they definitely fade and, you know, kind of transfer off my waterline specifically. I have not tried this on my upper lash line because I bought it specifically to use as a waterline liner. Um, but so they, they tend to disappear from the waterline after I'd say four to six hours. Um, and they don't even really, it, disappear is not the right word. They fade. That is what I'm trying to say. It's still there. It's just not as impactful but I'm not mad about that. I think four to six hours for a waterline liner is pretty darn good. So I do like these. I think that, um, you know, if you're wanting a good eyeliner and you're not wanting to spend 20 bucks for, or however much the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil or the Marc Jacobs highliners are, because those are legitimately amazing. These are great too. So they're, they're just, they're a nice affordable alternative. Um, okay, and then the last ColourPop thing that I had is this lippy. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's um, one of their matte lippy sticks in the shade Prairie Home. It's super matte to the point where it just kind of, after I'd say 30 minutes-ish, it's clinging to any dry patches that I have. Um, which this time of year it's happening, you know, through no fault of my own. I am, I'm using lip balm. I'm drinking like 96 ounces of water a day, which I have to do to keep my milk supply up. Um, so I, there is no reason for my lips to be as chapped as they are. They just are, I think. Um, so I, I, I can make this work if I exfoliate my lips really, really well. Um, and that's, and it's a beautiful color. So the color is gorgeous, but I already knew that. So we're talking more about the formula here. Um, I would say one of, like I said, it's, it's kind of dry. Um, I can't open it cause my hands are so gross. <laughs> um, the other gripe that I have with these is the shape of the bullet. I just don't really like it. Um, it's, for my lips, it's a little too small. It makes it difficult to get um, a good 
shape, I guess. I, I just, for whatever reason, I have a hard time actually getting this to go exactly where my lip line is. It tends to either kind of, I don't know. It's like I can't color inside the lines with this is what I'm trying to say. And I can't explain it other than I think that they're just, it's, it's either shaped weird or too small. I, I have not been able to pinpoint exactly what it is. That being said, I mean, the color is beautiful. I can get around the formula by adding a gloss on top and I still have that gorgeous like brick red color. And I don't quite have anything like that in my collection. So I am happy that I have it. Um, I don't know that I'm going to purchase too many more of the ColourPop matte lippies. I have another one and it's the same thing. I just have a hard time kind of getting it to go on my lips. I don't, it might be because it's so matte that it's, it, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of dry and it's hard to kind of effortlessly glide it along my lip line. Does that make sense? Like it just kind of sticks where I, where I put it down and tugs at my lips instead of just gliding on. I'm probably not making any sense, but that is the best way that I can describe it. Okay. Now, moving on to the Dose of Colors Concealer. This is a hit. I have been using this every day since I did that video um, because I really wanted to give it a fair shot. And I really like it. I Now, before this, I was using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I love that concealer. I love that concealer. And I will say, I don't know that this is better than that. It's probably on par. Um, the difference between this one and that one, that one is a much thicker formula. Um, and I would say probably a little bit more full coverage than this. This is pretty full coverage, but it's also relatively, uh, it, it's, it's more liquidy, but not really. The e.l.f. one is just extremely thick, I think, which sounds bad, but for some reason it works. Um, anyway, I like this. I You can't even tell that I have under eye circles when I wear this. Well, you probably can when I don't have a ring light flashing or shining at my face, but it covers my dark circles, which are relatively prominent these days because I am not sleeping that well. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, but yeah, I I like it. It's, it's a, you know, how much are these? I think they might be, they're either 22 or 28 but they're gonna be 50% off for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So if you've been wanting to try this and if this review pushes you to that, get it on sale. So overall, I do really like this. Um, I feel like it's it has a pretty good staying power. I would say, um, let's. I mean, I do my makeup in the morning. By the time I get home from work, it's, it's still there. It's still concealing. So that's great every once in a while. And this is with pretty much any concealer it'll kind of wear off on my inner corner, but I think that's because I have this compulsive need to make sure that I don't have eye boogies. Because <laughs> um, when you wear eyeshadow or liner, you know, you get colorful eye boogies and they can look real, real gross. So I just kind of like, I don't know, several times a day, I clean out my eyes. <laughs> that's disgusting, <laughs> um, but it's the truth. So aside from that, this stays fantastic and it covers and it's not super goopy. So I like it. Okay. And then the last product is this Essence Blush Lighter. Um, first of all, packaging, total fail. No, it, I don't even remember. Evidently I dropped it and it, these do not withstand dropping. I don't remember dropping them. I, I, no idea, but I, that's the only thing that could possibly cause this. I, cause it's, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Packaging, not so great. Formula, I like it. Um, I will say it's way more pigmented than I initially anticipated it would be. I figured it would be a pretty light blush. It is not. 
It is not. So I would say go in with a, a light hand and buff it out really well. I have found what I tend to do is I'll go in with this and then I'll buff it out with my powder brush just to create more of a subtle sort of blush and not really, really intense blush. Um, but I, I was pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I, and this is where like, I'm going to sound snooty, but sometimes I just am not convinced that a $4 or $5 blush is going to perform very well. Um, but Essence, you know, I feel like they know what they're doing when it comes to face, face products, um, or face powders and mascaras. I love their Lash Princess Mascara. So Essence is definitely a brand that I think they know what they're doing. Um, eyeshadow, mm, I don't know. But blush, highlighter, bronzer, they do a fine job. They offer a great product at a fraction of the price of high end. And I think that that is a wonderful thing. So I, I think this is good, not just for the price, but just period. So um, like I said, the one drawback is the packaging and it is really pigmented. So you do have to be careful there, but yeah. So all in all, there really weren't any fails aside from the, I would, do I want to say this is a fail? It kind of is a fail just because the formula is so dry and I don't enjoy using it. So other than this, I liked everything else. Okay, you guys, that is where I'm going to leave it. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I hope that you, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.